Welcome, everyone, to another edition of Triton Trojans Basketball. I'm Andrew Hare alongside Caden Atkins, Anna McIntyre, and Kenny Barnhart, and the Hall of Famer Ryan Leonard here for the Triton Trojans Sports Network. As the Trojans play in their final away game of the season as they travel to Bremen to take on the Lions. These two teams squared off in Bi-County semifinals as the Trojans came out victorious and punched their ticket to the Bi-County Championship. This is the 73rd meeting between the two schools, and Bremen still has the edge, 38 games to 34. Bremen comes in with a double-digit win total on the season and Matt Miller's second season as head coach. His group is very physical and likes to play up-tempo and a group that is out to avenge a loss against these very Trojans in Bay County in their final home game of the season. They look to get to look for their 12th win here in this one. Triton fell in a heartbreaker on Saturday, a team that looked spectacular in the first half but struggled from the free-throw line and the offense that stalled in the second half, ultimately giving up the lead in the win. With town with a town coach and Jason Grubbs, he has his team focused and has a mentally tough team as they are a tough group and trying to find their way to battle through adversity even in the toughest of situations. The group of seniors need to focus here tonight and put the hammer down for all four quarters and look as they look to build momentum in the week before sectional play. Caden, you know, we saw a tough one for the guys on Saturday night. What what are the things the Trojans need to do here to be victorious in this one? Well, I don't want to keep beating a dead horse here, but it's the same thing that we've talked about for this Trojan team this whole year. They've got to put a complete four quarters together. And against Tippy Valley uh, last weekend, I don't even think they put three quarters together. They got outscored uh, 36 to 20 in that second half, uh, as you kind of touched on earlier. And just they weren't able to connect in the free throw line. They didn't get a couple shots to go their way. And, and Tippy Valley was able to claw their way back into it and took down the Trojans. You know, and Tippecanoe New Valley is a very tough team at home, but they just showed off how much stronger they were with the Trojans. I mean, this this Trojan team is not a bad team, and that's what, you know, their record's there for a reason. This is a group that plays well together. They just got to find a way to start putting it all together because time's running out. Yeah, you've, you've said it very well there. Sectional starts a week from uh, today, I believe, if I'm not uh, mistaken there. That's and. Great. You know, you can't look you can't look forward past uh, this Freeman game and then the Knox game on Friday. But yeah, from our point of view, we can. And Triton drew a very tough Trinity team. And if they are playing like they played against Tippy Valley or maybe John Glenn earlier in the season, you know, stuff like that, where they haven't put together complete games, they're going to be out in the first round of the sectional tournament. You know, and this Bremen team, granted, you know, you, you look at their record and you see a team that's 11-9, and nine, but really this is a very good team that's lost to some quality opponents by a very small margin in John Glenn and uh, I believe another close loss that they had on the season was a uh, close loss earlier to Elkhart, another one. I mean, they played extremely well this season. Yeah, and a close loss against Triton in the Bike County by four points. Yeah, we got that. We actually have the stats pulled up from that game, and that was quarter by quarter. Only the third quarter was the farthest distance. It was a twenty to sixteen scoring, four points. Everything else was either tied or one point difference between that game. Just that that yep. tight of a game. Yeah, Bremen led at halftime, but uh, Triton was able to jump out to a three point lead after the third quarter, and they were able to put one more on top of that. But I don't think four points for either team is going to get it done tonight. And uh, if it is another close game, it's hard to bet against the Lions because they have this experience playing in these close games. They've played in four overtime games this year, including a four-overtime game against Argus. And, you know, in this Bremen team, there's a lot of size with these guys. There's a lot of experience, a lot of high IQ with these guys. You know, they're, and they're physical, and they like to get out and go. I mean, with Carson Miller, they're leading score, averaging about 20 points a game. And on the boards, he's their leading rebounder, with averaging just under eight a game. This is a group that can rebound the ball extremely well. And defensively, they like to push up. They like to push the tempo. Yeah, Carson Miller had 11 in that uh, meeting earlier this year. And he is going to be their main focal point of tonight's game. You know, but he's going to try to get to the basket, score however he can. And for Triton, I think you need to come into this game realizing that and make him your top priority on defense. Respect these other guys to the respect that you feel they've earned through watching film, through that uh, experience earlier in this year. But you have to focus in on Carson Miller. I think that he is going to be the catalyst in this this one. You know, if Carson Miller gets taken away, a guy you got to keep an eye on is that Tony Harden. 
the 6'3 yeah. senior. I mean, he's another guy. He put up 17 in that game against the Trojans. He's a guy who can score inside and out. Very athletic. Very, I mean, uh, just a strong player all the way all over all of the floor. And I think you need to see another big game from Tyson Yates and Cole Shively. I think that one-two punch is going to be huge here tonight. And don't forget about uh, Mr. Downtown Ashton Oviedo. He is always ready to pick it up and get going at any given moment. Um, and if you can balance that three-headed monster uh, through Coach Groves, you can work the ball to Tyson, work the ball to Ashton, give it to Cole Shively here and there. If you can spread that balance out, Freeman is going to be running all over the court just like chickens with their head cuts off. And, and they're going to be lost out there. And other guys, I mean, you see the other rotation, but I mean, with, with Bruce Johnson, a guy who – you know, it seems, seems like the team lost some energy when he got hurt there against Tippecanoe Valley. If he can put together four quarters, Bruce Johnson's a guy who can be extremely tough. And I, I, li- I like what Cole McKinney has done in recent games as well. And then uh, Caden Graham coming off the bench, also providing some valuable minutes as well. Yeah, the Stroger team is very deep. They've got plenty of scoring options all across the board, and they will play, you know, eight, nine guys deep sometimes just because they can. They have that opportunity to, and that's not something that every team, especially every 1A team, can say. Well, I think we're all set here for the battle for 331. As who wins this 73rd meeting in this rivalry? Does the Trojans find their 700th win in varsity basketball? Find out next right here on the Triton Trojan Sports Network. Good
tip it off. Anna, who we got starting for both teams? For Bremen, we have number 12, Tony Harden. Number 22, Dawson Hickman. 24, Trevor Devine. 40, Ty Feldman. And number 50, Carson Miller. And for the Trojans, we have number 5, Cole McKinney. Number 10, Ashton Oviedo. Number 20, Cole Shively. And number 24, Tyson Yates. Oh, and 22, Bruce Johnson. Well, Bremen controls the tip as they go to Devine. Devine works with the screen from Feldman. Up top the key. Goes to Hickman here on the near side. Harden now on the left wing. Goes, wanted to go to Miller. Shiley's kind of guarding him. Devine now in the corner. Up the up fake. He'll drive. Sees a lane. Goes with the run off the glass. No good. Harden with the putback. Elevates and comes from behind to get that one to go as he stares down Oviedo. Nice job by Hardman to follow the rebound and get the putback. Hickman takes it away. Knocked away by Johnson, and Ty, Tyson Yates comes away with it. Yates up, Yates up to Oviedo now on the right wing. Oviedo directing traffic with the crossover, trying to get some separation to Yates in the corner. Yates drives. Hop step, leans into that one on the baseline and ties it up at two. Miller now goes to Harden on the left wing. He'll drive, pull up jumper from the baseline, off the mark, no good. Tyson Yates tips it to Cole Shively for the rebound. Shively down the floor. Leaves it for McKinney. Cole McKinney will try a three from straight away. In and out. Harden with the rebound. Harden with it. Goes to Hickman. Works away from the screen from Devine. Up to Carson Miller. Matt Miller calling out. He wants to see from his offense. Directing him to Miller in the corner. Miller drives. Goes to Devine. Three-pointer on the way. In and out. Rebound goes to Cole McKinney. Yates now reset. Goes to Johnson on the left side. On top to McKinney. Now to Johnson. Shively wants in the corner. Shively drives, goes up strong underneath, blocked by Hickman. And we'll stay right here at the Trojans. Yates to inbound. Goes to McKinney, but right there's Carson Miller to take it away. Miller up the floor quickly, blocked by Shively, but a foul call. Foul on number 20, Cole Shively. That's his first, team's first. So Carson Miller to the line. It's that first one to go. Miller off the mark on the second. Yates now up top, goes to Shively. Back door's closed, pull up jumper from the free throw line, puts it in. And Triton takes their first lead of the ball game. Harden quickly up the floor. Goes to Devine, in the corner to Hickman. Down to Miller. Miller, Ty Feldman untouched underneath, gets that one to go. Good find there. Shively will drive against Miller. Goes up underneath and can't get the reverse land. Gets his own rebound. Shively fighting underneath. Up and in. Cole Shively with back-to-back -back baskets down the floor. That's yeah, one of those things. Just don't quit. You're right there. Just grab it if it's loose. Hickman in the corner. Working against Bruce Johnson. To Harden in the corner. He'll drive. Stops on the baseline. Throws it up into the sands. And the Lions turn it over. Got the crowd involved yeah. over there. Yeah, they're all, uh, hey, what are we supposed to do with this? I think she was kind of amazed that she stopped it, though. Hey, she blocked the ball. See? Oh, uh, you're Kenny, not Orion. <laughs> McKinney now up top the key. Goes to Shively on the right wing. Works with the screen. Crossing it over, he'll drive against Feldman. Shively. Back to McKinney. On to Oviedo. Hickman almost got a piece of that one. He has a steal earlier in the ball game. Yates on the left side. 
Pull up three on the way. Off the mark, no good. McKinney runs it down, throws it back. There's Shively. Nice effort by Cole McKinney as Shively draws the foul. He'll go though. Like I said, the foul was on the floor. But Cole McKinney with the hustle play to throw it in from the corner. We talked in pregame. Those kind of plays are going to be huge. Now we got to have a talk. Yeah, I think he forgot which one. He glanced back, and I think the one he looked at wasn't there. Ty Feldman's like, I wasn't there. They're saying it's 40. I thought it was kind of on Grant Hickman myself. Grant Hickman was only down, down there, I thought. Oviedo now as Miller comes out to guard him. Yeah, he's just not getting the room tonight. Oviedo with the up fake. I'm to leave his feet. Contested three straight away off the iron gates. A volleyball swats it on over to Oviedo. Oviedo drives off the glass. No good. Tipped around. Harden gets the rebound for the Lions. Harden up the floor, quickly, puts on the brakes. Not a divine, back to Harden. Feldman feeds Miller, but Cole Shiley lays out and knocks it away. Hickman, nice job by Cole McKinney to get there. Hickman drives to Divine in the corner. He'll drive on the baseline, kick out to Miller. Now to Feldman, one more pass to Hickman in the corner. Hickman drives, and he'll draw the foul. Like I say, he traveled on the way there. And here comes the three-player swing for the Trojans. I don't know. This is one thing I just love about this team in the last couple of years. Is it's it, it's like watching hockey. You just send a platoon in, just send, just send a different line in. I love it. I love the depth of this team. Bit of a zone look. They're going to slip. They're going to flip the box in one. They're going to run four players up and drop Divine down underneath the basket on this defensive set. So they go down to Shively. Shively loses there as Feldman might have a piece, but Shively rips it right back away. Goes up, draws the foul, and in one opportunity. Holy cow, Cole Shively. Fouls on number 40, Ty Feldman. That's his second, team's third. And Orcutt Nunemaker will check in. Cole must have been banging around with the steers the last yeah, few days. Yeah, had some few days off with the weather, and uh, it's getting about that time. Sheesh. Some of the little ones are... Time to start breaking them in. Cole Shively gets three points the old-fashioned way, and the Trojans push their lead up to four. Nunemaker here on the left wing. He'll work. Goes to Miller in the high post. Harden scanning the floor, finds Devine. Or cut down the corner. Miller wants it down the post. Kick out or cut to Harden. Harden feeds Miller at the free throw line. Back to Harden. He'll try the dribble drive. Kicks out to Nunemaker in the corner. He'll drive. Stops. Throwing high up top as Harden throws it right to Tyson Yates. Two on one fast break as Yates will go through. But I think we're going to get a travel. Yep. Oh, a foul. Bumped before he went I up guess. for the shot. Foul's on number 24, Trevor Devine. That's his first team. Is that three or four? Third. Yep. Three. Yates wants in the corner. Shively, three-pointer straight away. Off the mark, no good. Devine gets the rebound. Now to Harden. Miller tries. Skips to Devine. Three-pointer on the way from the corner. It still looks good. Off the mark, no good. Tipped away, but I think it's, oh, they're going to say the Trojans get it. Oh, little conference over here. Because I kind of thought it went off of Caden Graham, and it did. Divine inbound in front of the, the doors there. Goes to Orcutt. Now to Nunemaker. Down to Miller. Miller drives in the baseline. Spin move goes up with it. Can't get that one to go. Caden Graham with the rebound. West Saber now with it. Goes to Yates. In the corner to Connor Large. Hands off to Caden Graham. Loses it for a moment. Graham working against Harden. Here comes the countdown. Someone's got to help him out. Tipped, but Yates is there to get it. 
Back to Graham. Three-pointer from the corner. Too strong. Right to Cole Shively. Shively underneath, but he'll go up and he'll say he double dribbled. And the Trojans turn it over. Well, they got it down to his third, third turnover. And Oviedo McKinney will check in. And Shively and Yates will get a break. I always look forward to see how other people <laughs> pronounce Oviedo. I just went straight to the source and said, am I yep. saying this right? And he says, yep, you're saying it just fine. Four years ago when I asked. Harden will try a three. Pumps and puts it up and up there. Tipped away. Cole McKinney comes away with the rebound. Leaves it for Oviedo who will set the play up. Miller's going to guard him. Switching up their defense now. It's going a little more of a man defense. Nunemaker's going to guard Westaver. Hands off to Oviedo. 25 seconds. Carson Miller's going to start the countdown. 20 seconds. Knocked away from Nunemaker. Westaver retakes it back. Harden's trying to take away that space there. So it's time to go. Now to Connor Large. To McKinney, five seconds to Oviedo. Oviedo's going to get it going here. We're going to get a push on the lines, I guess. Foul's on number 12, Tony Harden. That's his first, team's fourth. And Gavin Hunziker will check in, number 34, as Devine will get a break. Oviedo at the buzzer. Can't get that one to go. And the Trojans are going to take a four-point lead into the second quarter. Earlier tonight, the JV won by a score of 44 to 31. Had themselves quite a game. I had the paper somewhere, but I don't know where I put it. It's all right. This game pl playing out a little like that one was. Yeah, if you look at the scoring as far as between that game bet by county, um, between these two teams, first quarter they were tied at seven. In the second quarter, Bremen took a one point lead into halftime. The Trojans only put up seven points. But then things erupted in the second half. We're trying to put up 20 points coming out of that locker room to Bremen 16, and then trying outscoring Bremen by one point in that fourth quarter to pull out the win by four. And the John Harrell prediction here tonight, it's the same score, but yep. Bremen's favored yet again. Yep, and like you said, they've had some tough, tough game, tough teams that they've battled since that by county just to get them a little bit more of a heads up and they've got the tougher like you said tougher schedule their opponents this season are 218 to 189 and Triton 211 wins to 191 wins of their opponents record so very close but Triton doesn't have to go against Penn no and uh, Central Noble two very very good teams Central Nobles both teams up over 20 wins well, second quarter of the way West Davis out there with Graham Large McKinney and Oviedo Miller or cut Hunziker Nunamaker and Harden the five for the Lions is this the lowest scoring first quarter of the season? It's not. Caden Graham up off the mark. Hunsko gets the rebound. Are you sure about that? Or cutting down the corner. Oh. Miller down to or cut. Big man kicks out to Harden. Harden flying through. Got a push on the floor in the Trojans. Now here comes the three-player swing. Fouls at number 10, Ashton Oviedo. That's his first, team second. So the starting five is back out there. There's Large, Graham, and West River all check in. Hunziker to inbound. Trying to find somewhere. Goes to Harden. Harden down to Hunziker. Hunziker, the big man. Nice defense by Bruce Johnson and Cole McKinney to take away the easy look. Nunemaker goes to Hunziker. Now to Orr cut in the corner. On top to Miller. Now to Harden. Hickman down to Orr cut. Or excuse me, Miller. Miller with a jumper off the mark. Rebound goes to Cole McKinney. The Trojans had seven in the first quarter against uh, John Glenn in the bike. Or no, in the first game of the season, in the regular season. And 
seven against LaVille, or at LaVille for the Bike County against mm -hmm. Freeman. Shively up and in. That's uh, nine points, so he's got nine of the 11. Cole Shively. Harden for three. Off the iron, no good. Tipped by Shively, it stays right here. Devine and Hickman will both check in as Orcutt and Nunamaker come off the floor. So their starting five, uh, excuse me, their starting five is not back on the floor yet. See, Orion backed me up. Harden with the jumper, in and out, rebound to Cole McKinney. It's close though. Once you showed me, I oh, saw. I have it down here too. You, you questioned me. And then I looked and I saw Andy. <laughs> Shively goes up off the glass, can't get that one to go. Hunziker gets the rebound. See if you're on time, you'd have got that. I was way here before. <laughs> I know. I was here at like six. Actually, I was here at 5.15. Miller's three-pointer off the mark as Yates gets the rebound. You brought Chick-fil-A. We'll, we'll, we'll give you a pass. <laughs> I circled around for a little bit. Yates, fadeaway jumper off the mark. No good. Devine gets the rebound as Orca will check back in. Next dead ball. Devine, now to Harden, and to Hunziker in the corner. Back to Hickman. Another on the far side, quickly to Hickman in the corner. Devine cuts to the basket and gets called for the, or we'll get a foul call on the Trojans. He'll go to the line for two. Fouls on number 20, Cole Shively. That's his second, team's third. That was a nice cut by Devine. Yep. Saw an empty look. Oh, that was a good move by him. That's the thing. Freeman's been moving that ball around that perimeter really good. They just have not really penetrated with it. There's some times that they, if somebody would cut to that basket, they'd probably have a good open shot, and that was probably one of them. You know, this is, like I said, a team that can close out. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, don't. They're logging that in for later when they need it. Yeah. So, Orchid will check in his... Matt Miller has a quick conversation with Carson Miller. Of course, Matt Miller in his second season, 20 wins to his credit. As Orcutt gets the rebound off the missed free throw, but here comes Caden Graham to knock it away. On to Johnson, the left wing. On top to McKinney. To Yates on the right side. Oviedo gets freed up for three straight away. Can't get that one to drop. Hunziker gets the rebound. Devine with it. Now to Hickman on the left wing. On to Hunziker. Hunziker on the right side. Now to Harden. Harden down to Devine. We'll get a foul call underneath. Fouls on number 12, Caden Graham. That's his first, team's fourth. Devine goes to inbound. On to Hickman in the corner. Back to Hunziker. Hickman now, he'll drive. Goes to Harden. Triton wanting to travel call. Or cut. Yes. Now to Harden on the right side. Down to Devine. Back to Harden. He'll drive. Goes to the floater again in the middle and gets that one to go. It's his fourth point. Oviedo skips it to Johnson. Three-pointer from the corner. Can't get that one to go. Rebound goes. To Devine, as the Trojans can't have a hard time getting that three-pointer to drop. Yep, just o, they're 0 of 8 back there. But Bremen's also 0 of 5, so the three-point arc tonight's just not friendly. Hickman in the corner. To Orcut. Hunsgrove with the up fake. To Hickman, he'll try a three. Far iron, too strong. Caden Graham with the rebound. Eighth underneath with the reverse land up high up off the glass, but they'll say it touched the top of the backboard. 
Nunemaker and Carson Miller will check in. In that bi-county tournament, in that game earlier, Triton was 7 of 21 from beyond the arc. Yeah, and Bruce had a really good evening that night. Yes, he did. It's Connor Large and Westover will check in after this next dead ball. So Devine now up the floor. Now to Hickman on the right side. On top door cut. Feeds it to Miller. Fadeaway jumper on the way and in. And Bremen going on a run here. Now to Johnson. To McKinney in the far side corner. On top to Yates. Three-pointer from straight away. Can't get that one to go. Three-pointers are just not dropping tonight in Bremen. Out to Carson Miller. Miller. Gets fouled there. Go to the line for two. Fouls on number 12, Caden Graham. That's his second, team's fifth. Carson Miller off the mark. There's a team one of five. Carson's one of three. Bruce Johnson and Caden Graham come out as Westover and Connor Large will check in. And Carson Miller gets the friendly roll in the second. Cuts the lead to one. See, this Trojan team can get this offense going. Only put up two points here in this second quarter. spring has gone on a 5-2 run to start this second quarter. Now to McKinney on the right side. On top to Yates. Now to Oviedo. Three-pointer on the way. Short of the mark. Doesn't catch the rim. Weiser catches it, but he'll say he was on the sideline. And it goes back the other way. Up to Hickman in the corner. Two minutes to go here in the second quarter. One point ball game. Nunemaker with it. On top door cut. Hickman leaves it for Devine. Down to Miller. Miller goes up off the glass. Can't get the roll. Or cut tips it to Tyson Yates. Connor Large hits the floor. Yates now off the floor. Sends it to McKinney. McKinney sees it. He'll drive. Goes up with it. Back iron. Carson Miller the rebound. His boat team's having a hard time getting that shot to drop here. 40% and lower from the floor. A combined nine made field goals from inside the arc. And the ball game. Yeah. Calling a push on the Trojans, I believe. Foul on number four, Chandler Westerfer. That's his first team six. And Harden will check in for Nunamaker. Now to Ork, now to Miller. Harden up top. Now to Hickman. To Harden on the left wing. Hardman caught in the corner, finds Carson Miller, down to Orcutt. Orcutt gets it taken away from Cole McKinney underneath. To Yates in the left wing. Yates spins out away, goes up and can't get the roll to go. Devine now up. Back to Hickman. Hickman sees a lane for the lead, gets it to go, and the Lions back out in front. A timeout. The coach goes, I don't know if to call him timeout. 25 seconds. The Trojans will hold for the final shot. Trailing by one as a 7-2-1 run. Or 7-2 run for the Lions here in this second quarter. Now to Yates, and Yates gets pushed to the floor. 
Fouls on number 24, Trevor Devine. That's his second, team's fifth. Hunziker will check in here for these next nine seconds for the Lions. Yates inbound. Up to Connor Large. Hands off to Yates. Oviedo gets freed up on the left wing, trying to. Three seconds. Now to Yates. Yates is going to go up in a hurry at the buzzer. Bank, bank it in. And no three-pointers scored here in this first half as Bremen takes a one-point lead into halftime. Shades the by county. Yep. A nice except, and tight. Except an eight to seven. Trent only putting up two points. That's their lowest output in the second quarter this season. Second lowest was three against John in the Bay County Championship. Now we know we're stats with our internet tonight, so we're just going to read them off here. Furry throws. Triton has hit their one attempt. Oh, there it went. Oh, did it? Looks like it did. Just changed. Yep, there it goes. We'll just read them off now. They said free throw 101, Bremen 2 of 6, two pointers 5 of 14, and 5 of 11. The biggest thing there behind the arc for both teams 17 attempts. Nobody's hit, hit one tonight. Turnovers 3 to 6. For Bremen, Harden with four, Miller with four, Hickman with two, and Feldman with two. Uh, fouls there, Feldman having two, and Trevor Devine also with two, and then Harden with a single. And then for Trojans, Shively there, Ben Lee pretty well led the way in that first quarter, nine points, Yates, and then Yates with two. But uh, Shively did get those two fouls where he got Westifer and Oviedo each with one, and then Graham does have those two fouls. So we'll take a break. We'll be at, back here after halftime right here on the Triton Trojan Sports Network. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA. All right, welcome back, everyone. As Triton trails by one to the host Lions, 12 to 11, after a 7 to 2 outburst for the Lions in that second quarter. And if you're this group, what do the Trojans got to do to kind of get themselves back into it here? I think we need to keep our defense up tight. And this is a team that works very well with the double team trapping. And I think I, I want to see more of that tonight. Um, but also then on offense, we need to get our shots to drop, I think, because we scored two or four points in that third, or second two, quarter. Yeah, just two points in that second quarter where Bremen scored seven. Yeah, I think cutting them off and put, uh, putting our foot on the gas pedal and just going. You know, Grant, they won that turnover battle. I mean, the, the, the rebound battle, 17 to 16. You know, they, they got five points off of turnovers. They just got to find a way to lift that lid to get things going. And for Bremen, it's kind of the same thing. Another team just yeah. hasn't got to drop here tonight. Neither team, like 17 attempts combined, no three-pointer to drop yeah, you in this just first half. don't see that. You know, if you, you've either team's only taken two or three, haven't made them. But, yeah, when you've had that many attempts and just nothing to drop, just uncharacteristic. So Bremen will start with the basketball to get this third quarter underway. Andy O'Hara alongside Anna McIntyre, Caden Atkins, Kenny Barnhart, and the Hall of Famer O'Ryan. And they're here for the Triton Trojan Sports Network on this recording. Unfortunately, it's good we, we've tried, but the internet just yep. couldn't quite get it. But we do appreciate the athletic department trying to help us out to try to get something thrown up. But, hey, you know, sometimes it just that's just the way it goes. Yep. On to Hickman on the right wing. Here comes that trapping defense that Anna likes so much. Feldman almost loses it out of bounds. Down to Harden, and the Lions can't strike first as Shively gets the rebound. Yates slowly up the floor. But as Kenny and I were talking in between the half time, about between the half time, you know, low scoring games, that's what you're going to see in that first game of sectionals. Yep, we got that. We get a chance here to break. We'll throw that uh, sectional draw up if you didn't happen to catch the Twitter feed or what it was, but uh, luck out, they don't have to play on that first Tuesday night, just that one game, and then but they are the first game on this Wednesday night. Let's say we get a chance, we'll throw that up and go through it. 
Now the eights in the corner. Back to Shively. On top, Oviedo. He's going to drive underneath the left hand and puts it in. This Trojan strike first coming out of the locker room. Harden out the floor. Finds Carson Miller on the left side. To Devine. Back to Hickman. Down to Miller. Another Devine to look past as they work it around the perimeter to Feldman. Three-pointer from the corner. Our first three-pointer has dropped here in Bremen. And it belongs to the Lions. Now to McKinney. Now to Yates, top the, top the key. Oviedo trying to lose Feldman. Spots up for three. Off the side iron, no good. Miller with the rebound. Yates trying to knock that one away. Up to Hickman. Cross court to Harden. Harden somehow with the, keeps it but throws it away. Is Johnson there to take it away? Kenny with the up fake. Goes to Yates on the left wing. On top to Shively. Cole Shively sees the lane. Goes up strong, up off the glass and good. And Cole Shively leading all scores with 11. Yeah, that's kind of a rough bump there. As the two players collide. Yes. Oh. So his third. I was thinking it was going to be on Tyson. So hope Carson Miller's okay as he'll get some some attention. Shively now will come off the floor as well. He's kind of smacked in the nose too. As Coach Groves checks him out. I don't believe Eric is here tonight. Devine out the floor. Goes to De Harden here on the right side. So that'll be big shot with 11 of the team's 15 points. Now out with three fouls. Hickman in the corner. De Hunziker. Feldman, he'll try another three. Back iron, no good. Devine gets the rebound. Up to Hickman, back to Harden. Three pointer for him from the same spot. Off the mark up on the top of the backboard. And the Lions come away with it. Hickman. Everybody show up with you. And Johnson there to get the loose ball. Johnson up the floor. Driving all the way. High off the glass. Was probably expecting contact. Is Hickman now back the other way? Hickman loses them. They'll get a foul call. Number 10, Ashton Oviedo. That's his second team second. Better late than never. Caught napping one or the other. I was just zoned out. <laughs> that could be another one. Zoned out. Shark on Zo. Zoned out. Hey, there's a lion <laughs> over there. That's what I was looking at. Hickman off the mark. Johnson gets the rebound. Goes to Yates who tips it to Oviedo. McKinney now on the elbow. Skips it to Johnson. Three-pointer on the way. Can't get that one to go. And the lid still is on tight for the Trojans. Devine back the other way in a hurry. Goes up strong with it and bank is open. Largest. Oh, I guess they're up to two now. Up to Johnson. Graham will drive. Draws the foul on the way through. with Feldman get picking up his third. Now this is only Triton's second free throw attempt. Graham's first free throw off the mark is a Trojan's first miss free throw. Nunamaker's going to check in for Feldman.
We'll be pushing Yates back. Graham's second free throw, in and out, empty trip. Devine up the floor to Hickman. Hickman drives. And to Harden. Back to Hickman. Hickman on the way through, up, no good. Tipped around, Oviedo's there to take it back away. Three on two, fast break to Graham in the corner. Graham will go baseline, Hunziker staying with him. Graham down to Johnson, and they take, oh, Johnson fights through it, too strong. Hunsker with the rebound as the Trojans cannot buy a basket here tonight. Seven of 18 inside, and oh, a 13 outside. Out of Hunsker, Carson Miller back in with a head wrap. I thought I got hit in the nose. A full timeout for Breeman. So we got a chance here, like I said, that uh, for the sectional there. So game one, West Central and Argus. That'll be on the Tuesday night, 6.30 start time. That'll be only game on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, starting at 6.30, turn to Greenlawn and Triton. Earlier matchup in the very tight, tight matchup earlier in the season. And then the nightcap there, Oregon Davis, Culver Academy, Culver, Culver Community. Then you're winner of the West Central Argus game will meet lacrosse on Friday night at 6.30, and then the winners on Wednesday night of the Tr Triton Greenlawn, Triton, Trinity Greenlawn, Triton, Oregon Davis, and Culver will then on uh, night game on uh, Friday night, and then on Saturday at 7. Anybody that's still winning gets to play for that championship. And also, if you get a chance to see this, the games, we will cover every game a sectional, I do believe. Yep, and they will not be on YouTube. They will be on the IHSAA net network. It's going to run the ticker underneath there. Yep. Oh, that didn't get – no way we didn't get that and saved. I think I had the ticker on there from before. It must not got saved. Uh, that says no commentary, but we got commentary. So. We will be, yeah, we will come. We're going to commentate every game. Yep. So, yeah, I do have to go to IHSAA.org or IHSAATV.org or just go to TritonTrojans.org website, and all the links are right there. So we'll see who they draw following that timeout. That was the first timeout of the ball game. As Yates knocks it away, but Devine dribbles it out. And a turnover coming out of the timeout. Yates now at the floor. See so what they draw up as Connor Large and Chandler Westy were checked in. Hands off to Oviedo. Oviedo sees a look, goes up the left hand, up and in. Tie ball game. Hickman. Oviedo's fourth point. Hickman leaves it for Hunziker. Down the middle, we'll get a foul call. No kick. Oh, kick? Yep. Here, a whistle. It's naturally some foul call the way things are going here tonight yeah. for both teams. Out of Hunziker. Out of Hickman. Down to Miller. Carson Miller driving. Kick out. Hunziker straight away three. Off the mark. And a push on the rebound, looks like, from Carson Miller. Foul's on number 50, Carson Miller. It's his first team second. I was waiting for you to say something about Emma. When they oh, that's the first kick ball, though. Well, that's true. Now, if we see a second one, we may have to there look around and see if she's JV. here. Oh, well, true, there was one in the JV. Out of McKinney. Oviedo up top. Out of Connor Large. He'll try a three. Lid still on tight from beyond the arc. And Large can't get there in time. But Connor Large with the hustle, trying to get there to bring it back into play. Still knotted up at 17. Nunemaker. Goes to Harden. Connor Large takes it away. Now to Oviedo. Oviedo up the floor. Up and adjust and gets the roll after Oviedo puts the Trojans back out in front. Harden now. Now to Miller. 
to Devine. He'll drive baseline. McKinney with a disruption. Connor Lars throwing it back in, but they'll say he stepped out. Find inbound. Goes to Harden. Harden works left. Pull up jumper from the corner. Too strong. Hunsker with the offensive rebound. Tipped away from McKinney. Here comes Tyson Yates. Yates all the way through. And Nunemaker comes with the loose ball. Lost it. Now to Miller. To Harden. They're going to get Oviedo with a reach. I'm not sure where it's going to be at, though. He just took a swat at the ball. That was on number 10, Ashton Oviedo. That's his third, team's third. Yeah. Ashton's saying, I didn't touch him, and even Harden's kind of shaking his head like, yeah, no, he didn't touch me. Yeah, but. and Oviedo caught him. And <laughs> yep. I see why you were looking at that lion now. See? He's got abs. He's on the Chris oh, Hemsworth like weight that. loss plan. <laughs> All of a sudden, I see a line come from over there, and it just distracted me. Miller for three. Back iron. Rebound, Caden Graham. Goes to Yates inside a minute to go here. Now to Graham. Lost Harden. Harden will hit the ground under his own power. Hope he's okay. Yeah, he's... Now to Westover. Westover down to McKinney. McKinney fading away in the lane. Graham can't get there to tip it back. Miller's got it. And a timeout as Harden needs to get some attention. Hope he's okay. Yeah, he's, he's more of what he's been walking. Probably been a little bit better for him. Just walking around. With... That's what I taught Jax. Shake it off, pal. Just keep yeah. walking off. Get mad at it. It'll go away. Be all right. You saw it firsthand the other night. I did. That was quite interesting. He got Not smacked so hard in the face of the pillow. <laughs> Kid so got back hard. up. Back up. No tears. Back up. Nunamaker in the corner. Nada Miller. Ten seconds. Two-point ball game. Down to Devine. Devine trying to find a way. Screen from Orcutt. Down to Miller. Miller up and in at the buzzer. McKinney, full court heave off the mark. And we're going into the fourth quarter, knotted up at 19. Yeah, scoring there for that third quarter. Triton put up eight, and Bremen put up seven. So still tight, tight scoring. What scoring there actually is in this game. Caden's well, not going to get his updates because I got barely any, got any service. <laughs> yep. Me either. I tried. It'll all go at once, probably. When we walk yeah, out we'll and just, walk outside. Huh. And do, 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 do. There's my updates. So, yeah, so, we, so, got, we got uh, Friday night now. We'll be yep. back home, last home game. Well, this is the last, last away game of the year for us. Yeah, last away game for us. Regardless of the outcome, even if we get all the way to sectional, still will be a regional. And, re and well, regional as well, because we'll probably call those only being yep. a couple minutes Much away. Ways. Might as well just go ahead and call them since we'll be right there in the neighborhood. Yep, so we'll do all do all those. So, yeah, so. we'll have Knox on Friday night, or senior night. What? Yeah. We get to call yeah. regionals. Then we'll get to start. That's a little scary. Up the sectional. On Tuesday, My dad Wednesday. one time so. tried to make me mop the floors, and I was too scared to do that. Oh, now, come on. Like during the game? You'll be there. I'll explain yeah. later. No, do, do you do you how many crunches do you think that lion's got to do each day to get that? Like, maybe maybe, maybe I need to get on the same program. I've lost the way. I want, do you think he rose, Orion? <laughs> you, you think he rose? I didn't even know lions had abs. Hey, hey, you know I, the, that the, lion. Does. Tony the tiger. Oh, he's a tiger though. I just lost Tony my kid. Tony the tiger's got to have abs. I'm just saying the fur covers Tony it up. Tony the tiger. Frosted flakes. Oh, okay. Yates up and in right out. Start off the fourth quarter. The track. The Trojans take the lead. Up to Miller, Miller, head of steam, driving down. McKinney stops. They're going to call hold. That was all ball. Wow. If that was girls' basketball, we're seeing a jump ball call going yep. back the other way. Wow. 
I mean, Grant, I, th these officials have done a good job here tonight, but I, I don't quite agree yeah. with it. But I'd rather be here and not down there. You know, I appreciate them taking the time to come here tonight. From this angle, it looked like all ball. Seeing five on the scoreboard I'm only, and only seeing one. We used to Dante yep. with like four. And Hickman takes the lead on a three-pointer from beyond the arc. Yeah, just there's just the second free throw three pointer of the game. Down to Shively. Patient. I'm gonna call a foul. If it's on Feldman, that's his fourth. Foul on number 40. Ty Feldman. That's his fourth. Team's third. The Trojans just have not been to the line much tonight. Just three attempts, to, but one of three. So both number 12s checking in, and Caden Graham and Tony Harden. Feldman comes off of those four fouls. Johnson will get a break. Shively up, puts it in. Gets him up to 12 points, leading all scores. Hickman on the run on the baseline and a charge. Cole McKinney underneath. And I got to look because I do believe and that's JV. Hang on a minute. Say that's got. Is that a makeup call for the jump ball that should have been called the possession before? That's Cole McKinney's eighth charge taken this season. Tyson Yates answers right back and retakes the lead. Up to Devine, now to Harden. Goes to Hickman, now to Miller. To Nunemaker in the quarter. To Devine, down to Miller. Big man's gonna back down, goes up with a hook shot and drops it. Lions tied up at 24. He's leading Bremen with eight. Shively will drive, retreats back. Goes to McKinney. In the corner, now to Yates. Gonna call a moving screen on Caden Graham. Foul number 12, Caden Graham. That's his third team stick. I'm not sure I really saw what happened there where you see a moving screen or moving screen call. But perhaps he was just kind of standing there and they kind of got tied up, I guess. I, I don't. Yeah, I, didn't, I just know he was motioning and he knew Yates was open behind him. Get the ball to. In that corner. Harden up top to key. Goes to Miller. Not a Nunamaker. Nunamaker leaves it for Harden. Fadeaway jumper from the baseline. Blocked by Caden Graham. Shively with it. Goes to Cole McKinney. Yates now gets it. Now to Oviedo. On top to Caden Graham. Now to Yates. Yates up to Shively. Alley oop. Banks open. Now to Miller. To Devine. Now to Harden. Devine sees the lane. Goes up and we'll get a foul call underneath. That was on number five, Cole McKinney. That's his second, team sixth. You wouldn't happen to know the score of that Bremen Argus game that went four overtimes at the end of the regulation, would you? <laughs> no, sir, I do not. <laughs> and we can't pull it up. We're blocked. <laughs> I'm still trying to send a Caden a message from halftime. I'm not even sure where I could find it. Maybe Max Preps? Mm -hmm. if yeah. If can get to load. Bremen is a team shooting two of nine at the line, three of ten. It's a one-point ball game after that one of two trip. I can't even Google. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm on their Wi-Fi, too. <laughs> Devine knocks it away. Lines back the other way. Hickman down the left wing. 
Back to Devine. Devine drives through, up and in. Nice drive. There for Trevor Devine. OV8 on the right wing. Skips it to Shively. One point ball game. Timeout for Coach Groves. Tight, tight game, just like what we figured it was going to be from the Bike County matchup. You no, know, you watched me. It was a good game, that Bike County. That was a lot yep. of fun to call, you know. But this is a Bremen team that has been in some games. You know, they're, 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 not, they're not afraid of pressure. No. But this Trojan team and all their team, it's been in close games that, you know, granted a couple of them didn't quite go their way, but at the same time, they've had a couple that did go their way. We always keep thinking of a low-scoring game as every time we play Trinity. But the defense that Triton used on that Trinity team, I don't believe would work at all well, see on, there, the, on this Bremen team. There's where the Lion gets his, his work out. I mean, uh, he, he, does, he does during the game. He just kind of shows up and oh. does his work. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh. Well, I tried to get his attention. <laughs> <laughs> He's napping. Oh, well. No, you're, starting to, you're starting to wear off on people. He's, I'm looking up that He's still score. trying. He's, well, that one you type and wait. What, what, was that the 15th? The date of that was the 15th one? Uh, I don't know. It was hang on, hang on, hang on. The 18th. Okay, I'm not there yet. <laughs> Up to Yates. So they draw up Oviedo down the right wing. Now to Graham, to Yates. To Shively, top of the key. Shively's going to drive against Miller. Stops. Shively goes up off the glass, and Triton goes back out in front by one. To Nunemaker. Nunemaker stops. Cole McKinney denying anything through there. Miller fades away with the hook shot. Back iron. Harden tries to get up there to get it. And Shively lets it go out of bounds. They're going to say it went out of bounds on the Trojans. Oh, he's tired. He's, he, he, he's got to go cool off. This year it's probably hot in there. They're going to push underneath. Was there anybody even around him? Where's the push? Guess I didn't see it. Fouls on number 24, Tyson Yates. That's his first team seven. Was there anybody even under the basket? I didn't see it. So the vine goes to the line. He's just one of four. Ties it up. I didn't quite see what happened. It's kind of like to me that Divine just took off away. I didn't really see a push off. But again, I couldn't really see from this angle either. We should have probably started the replay if we didn't have internet. We yeah. looked up some of this stuff. And the Lions benefit as they go back up by one. If you're trying, you just got to keep your composure here. Still only one point game. But the way this game is, that could be five or eight points. Yates will try a three. Lifts the lid from beyond the arc. Out of 16 attempts. Finally got that first one to go. And back up by two, and they throw it away as Yates will touch it. Well, that three-point percentage is really going to take a dip after tonight. <laughs> yeah, right well, now. I think so it will. Six <laughs> percent. Six. Freeman's at 17 with their two of 12. Miller stops, retreats back. Hands off to Harden. To Nunemaker in the corner. To Harden, deep three for the lead. Off the front iron, short. Harden runs down his own rebound. Back to Miller. Miller with the up fake. Sees the lane. Goes up with the run in the lane. Gets the roll. Ties it up at 31. And Miller's got 10 points. Leading Bremen. Oviedo drives. Kicks it to McKinney. He'll try a three. Almost gets stuck in the corner of the rim. The Lions come away with it. Tie ball game. 2.40 to go. Most points put up in a quarter here tonight, 24 combined. Yep, each one got 12. 
Now to Hickman. Down to Miller. Back to Nunemaker. Three-pointer. Can't get that one to go. Rebound to Miller. But he gets, they're going to say a shot before the foul. Or a foul before the shot. Foul's on number 12, Caden Graham. That's his fourth. Team's eight. They're going to say it's on the shot. Oh, it's on the bonus. Yep. I was looking at timeouts like, wait a minute. His first free throw off the mark. Tipped away. It's a fight. Are they going to call a foul on there? They're calling oh, a foul on Bremen, I believe. Yes. Foul on number 50, Carson Miller. That's his second, team's fifth. And Bruce Johnson will check in. I wonder how much longer they wait before they bring Ty Felton back in. Finally got max preps to load, and there no one entered quarter scores for that game. <laughs> All that work <laughs> for nothing. Well, I know I'd have to watch the video of the game, and I don't think I could probably get that to load. Guarantee you won't be able to get that to load. At the rate we're going here, Ryan, we may see overtime. When you said, what, Bremen's had four overtime games so far this year? Technically, they played seven quarters of overtime this season. Four in one game. Went to overtime with Elkhart Christian, where they won by two. Lost in overtime to South Bend Adams, and then beat South Bend St. Joe by two in overtime. That was on the road. Let's see here. That one's on the road. That one's on the road. Every single one of their overtime games have been on the road. Not one overtime in a, at home this year. Triton only won overtime game, and that was against North Judson at home. Well, they lost yep. by four. Like the overtime game last night. I wouldn't want to talk about oh. it. I didn't even watch it. I'm kind of glad I didn't. Let me guess. They lost. Oh. What yeah. do you think? The way you're acting, <laughs> they lost. My dad watched it. I didn't watch it. Yates now in the corner. Back toward Oviedo. Treats back. Inside, two minutes to go. Johnson had to look inside. McKinney will drive. Now to Oviedo. Oviedo back to McKinney. McKinney with a contested three. Pass it in! Cole McKinney! That's his first points of the night. Done a lot of defensive effort, but now he's got some points on the board. Now to Miller. Miller stops. Now to Harden. Oviedo knocks it away. Shively up to Oviedo. The bunnies up and in. And it's time out for Coach Groves. The Trojans went on a quick 5-0 run. It's still a minute, 23 seconds. Now you're up by five, but don't get that uh, confidence that you've got this game in the bag yet. That happened last night. Yes, it did. I saw the highlights. I just... Yep. NIT, here we come. Good thing we're not live because I'm sure we'd be getting some comments from Bro Bloomington B in our chat area. I'm not real happy about it. My parents are going. Whatever game is next. Thursday or Friday? Thursday night. Thursday night, yeah. But still, they're still my team through yep. good and bad. They have yep. been since I was a little guy, Jackson's age. Serious. It's been you my could, team. You could, you could Win or lose. Basketball at two years old? What's that? You could comprehend basketball at two years old. Oh, yeah, I'm teaching Jackson now, too. 40, yeah, he knows what's going on. 48-48. So 48-48 was the end of uh, the fourth, regulation? End of regulation of that Argus Bremen four overtime game. I remember game. sitting there. Sheesh. Do I hear another overtime? Do I hear another one? <laughs> Do I hear three? Do I hear two? Give me I two. Hear four. I've, Don't give me five. Yeah, <laughs> it just kept happening. Oh, boy, that was funny that night. That was a crazy <laughs> night. And they started before we be, did. Before we did, we before we did, we were what halfway home. We were halfway yeah. home before it was decided. Divine goes to Harden. Miller for three, too strong. McKinney wisely lets it go out of bounds, but Nunamek with the hustle play brings it back. But Cole McKinney's there to take it away. McKinney gets tied up and a foul call on the Lions. 
fouls on number 22, Dawson Hickman. That's his third or second. Second. Team six. So one foul to give for the Lions as they're going to cover the full court now with the Trojans. On Oviedo. Hickman's going to track him. Winemaker's going to try to come off and drop him, and they'll get a foul. And now the Trojans are in the bonus. For the next 59 seconds, as Graham will check back in. What? Oh. He called five out, I'm sure. So they call him the timeout before the foul? As Jason Groves upset. Yeah. Did he even call a timeout? So I guess we're calling timeout. Get it. So no foul. No foul. The official thought Gross called a timeout. Did he call five out? He, yes. His normal, he puts his fist up with five out. That's the, what they. So now we got our foul. Foul's on number 22, Dawson Hickman. That's his third, team seventh. Oh, ran a little more off the clock. Yeah. <laughs> so now we'll go to the line. Still got the same result. And Oviedo to the line. Pretty sure Joe still made it. <laughs> Jason's going to have to change that call because it, he had one other game. He did the same five out. And yep. They called it, thought it was a timeout. And Oviedo perfect. The largest lead of the ball game here with seven. Up to Nunemaker. That was a to Devine. Pass. Hickman gets it in the corner. He'll drive. Stops the free throw line. Pull up jumper. Can't get the bounce. Tipped around. Oviedo takes it away. Oviedo up the floor. Nunemaker to battle him. Up and Gil oh. can't get the roll. Shively gets the rebound. Big man battling and a foul call. Cole Shively. Yeah. He must be breaking cattle this week. Fouls on number 24, Trevor Devine. That's his third, team's eighth. This is the longest fourth quarter. It's the longest, like the last minute, 30 seconds. Caden Graham connects on the first one. Was empty on his first trip. The Trojans only three missed free throws here in this one. Had a tough night against Valley. Graham drills it. One thing about it, we're not going to be close to that Harold prediction. Now to Harden. Triton was the underdog. Leads here by nine. Nunemaker, three, short of the mark. Graham with the rebound. And a foul call on Bremen. If Caden Graham can drill this. Fouls on number 50, Carson Miller. That's his third, team's ninth. There's some Bremen fans starting to leave the gym as the student section starting to disband. The Trojans win this game. This is their set by Orion's count. Their 700th varsity boys win. And they'll have to, uh, now, they're, now the all-time record will be 38 and 35. Oh. 73rd overall meeting. Yep. So this will be the 35th win for the Trojans against Bremen. Graham drills it as Westaver and Connor Large will check in for Cole McKinney, who's played well tonight, and Cole Shively leading the way. With 16 points. Heck of a battle tonight between the two Coles. Divine up the floor. Now to Hickman. Yates trying to knock it away. Bremen student section wanting to foul. Harden stuck in front of the official. Freed up. Goes up with the runner up and in. The timeout for Bremen. He's going to send his reserves in as the seniors will come off the floor for the last time. Yep. True. Here is Bremen basketball players. Eight seniors. And those eight seniors are Marty Mangus, 
Tony Harden, Trevor Devine, Ethan Nunemaker, Dawson Hickman, Carson Miller, Ty Feldman, and Gavin Hunziker are there. Eight seniors. I did the math three times over the weekend to figure out that 699. That goes back to the 63-64 inception of the school when uh, Bourbon, Tippecanoe, and Etna Green combined. So then the record t after tonight would stand at 700 to 631 losses. Hmm. The nice thing is there's the records out there to be able to look them up. Yates will slow it down. For boys, anyway. <laughs> and that's going to do it. Chosens are going to win 42 to 33 here from Bremen to improve to 15 and 6 on the season as Bremen's going to fall to 11 and 10. Both teams with one game before sectional play as Bremen will be at Culver Friday night where Trojans will host Knox in their final regular season game. And then Bremen will take on Fairfield in sectional play. And the Trojans are going to open things up against Trinity. Green lawn. That coaches Coach Grove's 290th win of his career at Triton. So he's 10 away from 300. Is he going to do a uh, interview or? I mean, it's recorded. It's up to you. Might as well. I guess right off the battle, anybody. I'm not standing up for it. The only thing is the newspapers here, so. Well. It may be a while because you'll. Oh, I didn't get that. Uh, we'll see here. You'll just have some dead space you got to kill. Oh, I got to edit it anyway, so. <laughs> well, and in between the pregame, whatever we hit, we hit, we hit record to stop it. I'll cut out all the dead space. So. Hey, all right. We finally got it up here other than we lost the final score. But the Triton was shot 8 of 11 at 73% of free throws. 5, five of 13, 38% for Bremen. Two-pointers, 14 of 28, 50%. 11 of 24, 46%. Three-point shooting, Triton did get two others to drop at 20 of 18, 11%. And also Bremen got two of theirs to drop at, of 16 with 13%. Leading away for Bremen, Miller with 10, Trevor Devine with 7, Harding with 5, Dawson Hickman with 5, Ty Feldman with 5. So we'll take a break. Me back. Oh, oh guess one more. One more. Got to get the Trojans. Shively, 16 points. Oviedo, 10. Yates, 9. Caden Graham with 4. And Cole McKinney with 3. All right. So we'll take a break. Me back here shortly. Let's interview. Yep. I'm trying Trojan Sports Network. Well, Coach, the guy saved to saved to uh, score points until the fourth quarter, and it paid <laughs> off. Yeah, that's why we saw that we outscored ourselves in the fourth quarter. 20, <laughs> we had 23 in the fourth and 19 the first three. Um, yeah. You know, I told our guys I'm proud of this win because, you know, this it wasn't an easy game to be able to grind through. You know, things weren't falling offensively. I think we shot 11% from the three-point line. Um but they found a way to win. You know, defensively, they're scrapping, they're fighting inside. Um, just did what they needed to do to win the basketball game. And then down the stretch, when we needed to make plays, you know, we had guys make plays. You know, Cole McKinney hits that three. Um, you know, Ashton gets a steal, I think, next, or, you know, forces a steal mm -hmm. pass ahead. So, you know, they made plays when they need to. And, you know, a lot of guys, I saw a lot of good things out of a lot of guys tonight. And the big thing for me watching this game, it's like this is going to prepare you for that Trinity game for the opening section. I mean, th this was a low-scoring, grinded-out ball game. These guys here, this is something you can reach back and remember. Yeah, you know, you get to the postseason, you know, defense, you know, the saying, defense going to win championships. Mm -hmm. and that, that, that's true. And, you know, Bre I thought Bremen, you know, had a good defensive effort as well. You know, just it was hard to get loose from them. You know, they're long, they're physical. And so just, yeah, just definitely proud of our guys. You know, they had to grind out a way in a low-scoring game, find, you know, not get frustrated with themselves. Sometimes our guys, when they're not putting up points, get frustrated. And so, you know, it's, it's, it was nice to see them just battle through that. You know, enforcing 10 steals again tonight. I mean, this group and how they force those turnovers, but then getting those points off them with 17 points again. This group here, like said, that defense offense, they can just continue to build on that game to game. Uh, definitely. You know, we forced 14. I think we only turned the ball over six, so that's part of it too. You know, we talked about maybe pressuring a little bit more and trying to force them into turnovers. We didn't feel too comfortable with that with Harden. I mean, he's usually lights out from three, and so we really yeah. we, we were doing a nice job, I thought, man-to-man. -man. So it was like, you know, do we get out of that and try to force turnovers for the sake of the offense? You know, and so it's one of those things where, you know, it, it's it's – 
a tough decision, but our kids, you know, like I said, found a way to get some turnovers and get some key buckets when they needed to. And your guys' communication, when you, like you said, you take in two or three guys to swap in at a time, the communication from those guys come off that bench to go onto the floor, that's this group that's well seasoned, that's got to be a huge thing to have going into sectionals. Definitely. You know, that's one thing I talked to him before the game. I said, tonight I want to see you guys control what you can control. And you can control the communication when you come into the game. You can control your effort. You can control, you know, your your attitude. You know, you can control a lot of different, you know, taking charges. You know, Cole McKinney had a big charge. Yes. You know, little things like that, your toughness, they, they have control of that. And, you know, that's what I wanted to see. And, and we saw that tonight, you know. And I, you know, I don't, I want to score points. But at the same time, you know, it was nice to see us have to grind out a game right here before section. And then uh, Friday night, final home game of the year. And Grant, it's a conference game. Grant, there's. Uh, for, for these guys here, what kind of things we look to expect on Friday night with these guys? Uh, well, I mean, Knox is playing a heck of a lot better than they were beginning of the year. I mean, you can't look at their record, can't look at this you know, the scores beginning of the year. They're, they're competing right now. I think they got beat by Michigan City Marquette by, I think it was 58-50. And so um, they're, they're a much improved basketball team. I think they had a kid injured most of the season. He's, he's back. So, um, you know, they're, they're always well coached. They, they do things fundamentally sound. Um, so we're going to have a test. You know, it's, it's nice to be able to celebrate our seniors, though. You know, they've done a lot for this program and, you know, obviously had a really successful four years and, you know, hopefully not quite done yet and get a little run here in the postseason. But, you know, just to send them out in the right way, um, you know, be nice. Well, Coach, congratulations on the win. Let you get over there, get some food, and get out of here. Not, not at least not a super long trip to go home at no, least. No, no, uh, yeah, that was nice. <laughs> well, I wanted, to, I wanted to congratulate him oh, on yeah. getting the – the program's 700th win, 700th win tonight. 700th win. Awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. School history. Since, That's awesome. Since, well, what, 1963, was it? Was it? Or was so, it that early? We, I just, oh, yeah. we just didn't yes. have a school, right? I think yep. or those, there was. Yeah, there was a transition because part, it was Triton was kind of together, but yet some of them was in Etna Green. Gotcha. Certain grades were at Etna Green. Some of them were at Bourbon and some of them typically new, but they were still Triton. Triton, okay. Yep. Cool. Well, we awesome. allowed Orion to do the math because I'm not allowed to do math up here. I, I, stick, <laughs> I stick to everything else. We'll, just, we'll let them guys do math. Well, we're, and we're over 500 too, so it's 700 to 631. Awesome. That's awesome. So, you know, obviously a rich history and. You know, a lot of good – look down the line, a lot of good basketball <laughs> players. I, I hear all about them from my father-in-law, so <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know the history pretty well. So, <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, bless you. Yeah. But, well, Coach, thanks for the interview. Thank you for uh, helping us this season and doing these interviews. But we're going to yeah. hang it up here from Bremen. And until next time, Trojan fans, remember the Trojan way. Thanks, guys. This broadcast on the IHSAA Champions Network is copyrighted by the Indiana High School Athletic Association and may not be rebroadcast or retransmitted without the express written consent of the Indiana High School Athletic Association. This is your IHSAA.